Hello and welcome to this WKTV sports presentation. I am Mike Mall, and we are coming to you from the 13th annual Stubby Overmeyer Sports Card Collection Show here at Wyoming Lee High School. You talking to me or you? Okay, big question though. Have you found that mantle card yet? It's an annual question for you, my friend. I have a mantle, but it's not much of a mantle. So I have not found that 52 mantle. So if you have one, bring it by. This is the last pitch ever thrown at Tiger Stadium. If you look carefully, there's the ball. And it's also verified by the, uh, by the uh, inning. It's a pretty attractive picture of Denny, isn't it? Daryl, just the way he's supposed to play it, uh, he's tremendous with the people. Uh, he'll and don't fall into his trap because he loves to talk. And if you, and if you, oh my God! If you if you uh, imagine a guy, let's say I, I'm trying to figure out some way to imagine and, and give you a picture of, of how much he likes to talk. And I think I just figured it out. Let's figure he's been in jail for five years, he had no jail cell, he had no partner in the cell, and this is the first day after five years he's got a chance to talk. That's the way he sounds every day of the week. Well, we are joined now by the chef of the day out here working on his tacos. Who do we have? Uh, Jaime Ramirez. I'm the soccer coach for Godfrey Lee Public Schools, and uh, I'm helping the robotics teams today to raise money for the projects that they have. So uh, you know, it's and he's just a, he's just a super nice guy, you know. Probably we're not one, talking about probably him, one though. of the best. Well, we're talking about you know his his, his, his can I say that on TV? His My wife is better looking than he is. Oh, a lot better looking. I don't know how I got her. <laughs> that was Tom De Janeiro. I'm sure most people know it already. I'm not. I mean, mom, we don't sit down by you. Don't pick you. Don't. Mommy, help me in and my team. <laughs> I was three years in to my quarterbacking days, and Coach Muller says to me, he's like, you know, we have a need at tight end, and you're too good of an athlete to be sitting on the sidelines. We need to get you out there, and so here's the deal. I know you don't want to move, but we'll try it for spring ball, and that move was divine intervention. It parlayed into a nine-year NFL career, and I've been blessed ever since. But then, too, um, this year we're going to give some of the money to the softball program because the Grundike family has been – they, they – the setup and tear down and all this and running this, they could almost do it. I, I almost don't have to be here, really. They're, they're, they know that much about it. And I have to ask you one question. We asked Denny the same question, and I want to see if you give us the same answer as, you did, as Denny did. You didn't have interleague play back then, so you didn't get to face Denny. But he said you faced each other in spring training several times. Who got the better of the deal? Oh, I did. <laughs> you know why? I never, I, I don't even know if I got a hit off him because he walked me every time. <laughs> so obviously he was scared of me. Who got the best of the deal? Well, it's not him. <laughs> of course not Come him. On. Come on. That was a silly question, you wasn't know, it? You know better than that. <laughs>